This is a little public service announcement on the perils of playing games like the three shell game or any of its cousins for money. So let's begin. It's a little game of hanky poo. There's two for me and there's one for you. Just follow the P while I move things a little. I won't move them far. See it's still in the middle. Now this really is a simple game, but it could drive a man insane. The P starts in the middle and it ends in the middle. The game's not that easy, some contend, once the P jumps from the middle to the far end. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll play with just two shells for you. Now, if I don't move them at all, could you double your wealth or would you wind up broke and despondent? Decide for yourself. I'll tell you what, if you give it one more crack, I'll leave one arm behind my back. And... I'll move real slow. Concentrate now. Just follow the P and don't get distracted listening to me. There you are. Now, if you're just guessing, you could lose over here. If you think seeing is believing, you're going to lose right there. Only one in a million will stay on track and bet the P is in the hand behind my back. That's the three shell game and five pretty darn good reasons why you don't want to play me for money. But if you see the game on the streets, you have a whole different set of problems. You have to be aware of these things. They are going to start out with the P under the center shell. But then they're going to go into a series of rapid hand manipulations like this. That one there is called the counterclockwise maneuver. Causes the P to jump from this shell over to this shell. Conversely, if he goes in a clockwise direction, whoa, that's quick. Causes the P to jump from this shell over to this shell. Now, street guys have made an absolute fortune on this one. Here's what happens. They start out in the center. They go for, they do this little clicky thing, okay? Everybody always bets on one of these two because, well, they were the only two that moved, plus he did the little clicky thing. Here's what happens. The P comes out from underneath this shell. Notice the angle of that shell. It ricochets off of the outside of that shell, then it travels faster than the human eye could follow all the way over there. All right, let's recap. The P could be under the center shell. You could even guess it's under the center shell, but it doesn't mean you're going to win because before you turn it over, I could make it jump over here. And if you were to guess it's over here, I'll make it jump over there. So your problem in a nutshell with the three shells, it's just never going to be under the one that you pick. And that's why you don't want to play the game for money. This concludes my public service announcement and part of my debt to society. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great day.